Hello, Vista Academy students. Thank you for letting us take you on a trip to Okinawa, Japan. This is me, my name is Bev, and I'm Alden's mom. This is him. He's a student at Vista Academy with you. To get to Japan, we'd have to leave California and fly west all the way across the Pacific Ocean. We'd keep flying west until we get to the island nation, Japan. Then to get to Okinawa, we have to go even further south than the island of Japan to a teeny tiny island in between Japan and Taiwan. That's Okinawa. In Okinawa, they speak both Japanese and their traditional language of Okinawan. To say hello in Japanese, we say konnichiwa. To say hello in Okinawan, we say minsore. Japan and Okinawa are home to some of the most beautiful beaches I've ever seen in my life. All of the rocks and cliff sides that you see are made by volcanoes. When hot rock called magma comes out of a volcano, it's called lava. And when the lava cools off, it makes these rocks. Can you spot the starfish? There it is! There are also many castles on Okinawa. Some castles are traditional, made of rock, stones, grass, hills, and trees. You can barely even see this castle, called Agina Castle, because it's hidden in the side of a mountain. There are other castles that are way more ornate and decorated, and they're made of wood and things that we would use in our buildings today. This is an apartment building in Okinawa. It looks similar to what you would see here in the United States, but Okinawans park their cars under their houses. Different from the United States, Okinawans build their houses out of concrete, which is very sturdy to withstand storms like typhoons and earthquakes. This is a tori gate. Can you say tori gate? In Japan and Okinawa, they believe tori gates protect them from bad energy because bad energy cannot pass through them. Another way Okinawans believe they are protected from bad energy is with shisa. Do you notice one shisa has its mouth closed to keep goodness inside, and the other shisa has its mouth open to scare away all the bad energy? Shisa are on every house, and gate, and driveway, and business, and bridge. Does this shisa have its mouth open or closed? Whoa, look at this shisa. That's gonna scare away some bad energy. Look at this shisa, it's a guardian of the bridge. Now let's see a traditional Okinawan dance. The stringed instrument you're hearing is a sanshin. It looks like a guitar with just two or three strings. And the drums you see are asa drums. And look, there's a little boy about your age waving a flag. You have to have very strong arms and a strong body to hold that flag up high. The Japanese and Okinawans eat a lot of rice and vegetables and seafood. They even eat seaweed. Often you'll see them cut vegetables into cute shapes. What shape is this? This is my favorite dish. The noodles are called soba. And there's fried chicken. Do you like fried chicken? 
This dish is called taco rice. It's like eating a taco, but on rice. Did you know they even have McDonald's in Japan? Here's what a hamburger and french fries would look like in Okinawa. Before you eat, we say itadakimasu. Can you say it? Itadakimasu. The Japanese have several festivals that celebrate flowers. This is the lily festival. Here's the sunflower festival. And finally, the azalea festival. But there are so many more flower festivals there. Do you know what plant this is? Did you guess a pineapple? During the month of May, there's a holiday known as Children's Day. At Children's Day, you fly koinobori. Koinobori are flags shaped like koi fish, or carp in English. The koi, or carp, is a big energetic fish, and so it's a symbol for how much energy it takes to raise a family. Are you an energetic kid, like a koi or a carp? Thank you for coming on this trip with us today. In Japanese, you would say, Arigato. Thank you. And goodbye. In Japanese, you would say, Sayonara. Bye bye.